Today we're playing West Ham at home, 2 p.m. kickoff on this lovely Sunday afternoon. Now, of course, West Ham, they're challenging for Europe. They're a really good team. Got a good result on Thursday, of course. One one draw, court finals of the Europa League. They're a top side. We did actually beat them, of course, two one away. This a goal in the 95th minute. We actually got a bit lucky that day, I'm going to be honest. Um, but it was a great day out for us Bees fans. Obviously, it'll be very difficult to get something today, but. Um, I'm not feeling that confident. I think they might nick a late goal, similar to what we did to them, but hopefully we can get something. Come on, bees. <laughs> Done, Brian. Oh, no, you've got to go with him. Good, Zanka. No, boys. Near the halfway line, and we've got a corner out of it. What a ball in! Finish, finish, Ericsson. Oh, another shot though. Good bees. Oh, 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 oh,
by two goals to nil at home and it does mean of course that we've done the double over West Ham this season which is incredible to think because they really are a top side and obviously they're in the quarterfinals of the Europa League they've got some really decent players so to have won both games against them shows you the places Brentford are going every player for Brentford played brilliantly today they all looked like they knew what to do you know there were some really nice patterns of play um, and what's more, they're playing with confidence after last week's win, and that makes a real difference. I thought Ericsson was brilliant, Tony grabs another goal, but the pick of the bunch for me was Brian and Bleno. Goal and assist today. He could have had many goals, he had about five shots, but it just wasn't quite going for him, so it was great to see him get his goal just after half-time, but a brilliant result it was today. I do hope it can continue, because every point we get is a point close to safety. 